Top 10. Best Home Theater System, Number 10. Aetherian Audio Novice 5.0.2. Aetherian makes some incredible gear. Their new novice system is a bruiser, the speakers you get from the American company are just out of this world, with hefty cabinets and sumptuous audio quality that will satisfy all but the most hardcore of audio files. This is a 5.0.2 system, meaning there's no subwoofer included, so bear that in mind before you buy. We weren't impressed with the bass, which felt a little bony and unfocused. If you're spending over $2,000 on a home theater system, then it's a shame to not have this option. Regardless, we love the Aetherian Audio Novice 5.0. It isn't for everyone, but it deserves a spot on this list. The high end in particular is fabulous, with crisp detail and terrific dialogue. Number 9. Onkyo HTS 5800. Let's say you want Dolby Atmos height audio, but you don't want to spend 4 figures to get it. You could buy the Vizio SB46514F6. But if you don't want a soundbar system, or want to spend even less, then the Onkyo HTS 5800 could be the perfect option for you. It's a complete system that even includes an A-V receiver. And unlike other similarly priced systems here, including the top-ranked Yamaha YHT 4950U, the Onkyo HTS 5800 incorporates height modules into the front speakers. This makes the HTS 5800 one of the easiest ways to get full surround sound, and we highly recommend it. We aren't, however, wild about the included receiver. It's perfectly acceptable but we got great results using receivers from other companies like Denon and Yamaha. The bass receiver model never felt like it was flattering the audio or driving the speakers to their fullest potential. This may or may not be a problem for you, but regardless, we think it's worth mentioning. If you have a bit more money, Matching the Onkyo HTS 5800 with a receiver like the Denon ABRS 740H would be a very good choice. Number 8. Klipsch HDT 600. It's very possible to spend thousands of dollars on Klipsch speakers. They make some of the best in the world. What's truly surprising about them is that they also cater to the budget market. And with the HDT 600, they produced a truly fantabulous system. It's not quite as user friendly as the Yamaha YHT 4950U, however. We found it demanded more time, especially regarding speaker placement. You may have to be prepared to put some time into finding the sweet spot, but once you do, it's clear why the system has stuck around. Dialogue, in particular, really shines through, and it's clear that Klipsch knew what they were doing. If you do just want a plug-and-play system, there are definitely better options than the Klipsch HDT 600. Not just the more expensive Yamaha, mentioned already, but the super simple and forgiving mono price 33309 which doesn't sound as good but costs significantly less. If you're prepared to spend some time setting, number 7, mono price 133832 Mono price are simultaneously one of the most impressive and most infuriating companies with ever come across. On the one hand, they make excellent home theater gear at ridiculous price points, like the mono price 133,832, a 5.1.4 system that incorporates height speakers for Dolby Atmos and costs under $300. On the other, their availability fluctuates 
and the convention of using strings of numbers for package names can often make them frustrating to track down. The sound is solid, if unspectacular. It's the high audio that is the main draw here, and while you shouldn't expect miracles, it's probably the only system in this price range that offers it. And although the low end of the mono price 133,832 is easily bested by packages from Yamaha, we think that the amount you get here more than justifies the purchase. Ultimately, this is a good, basic system that will suit most living rooms, even if the sound number 6. Enclave Audio Cine Home HD 5.1 Wireless home theater speakers are slowly becoming more common, and right now, we think the Enclave Audio Cine Home HD 5.1 is the one you should get. It's easily the most affordable alternative to the Sonos 5.1 surround set, above. It has a particularly clever piece of technology that creates its own Wi-Fi network, so you don't have to sign it up to the one already in your home. That's different to what the Sonos system does, which connects to your existing network. If you have issues with dropout on your network already, or think you might in the future, then the Cine Home HD 5.1 is a particularly smart solution. The downside is that, as good as the technology is, the sound quality isn't quite up there. The audio isn't nearly as rich or powerful as something like the Vizio SV46514F6, which is significantly less expensive. That's a bit of a black mark against the Enclave, and you may want to think carefully before buying. Number 5. Logitech Z506 Small rooms can be challenging for home theater systems, and you need to take special care to select speakers that aren't going to give you muffled or muddy sound. That's why the Logitech Z506 truly surprised us. It not only pulls this off, but does it for around $100, which is significantly cheaper than just about every other system here. You get 5 speakers and a subwoofer and the sound quality particularly the bass never gets phased by small spaces. We think it's significantly better than other more expensive systems, like the $259 Rockville HTS 56. It must be said that, at this price range, the expectations for sound quality shouldn't be huge. That's definitely the case with the Z506. Elements like dialogue can occasionally be indistinct, which is a little frustrating, but it's hard to be too upset considering the price. If you want features like Bluetooth, you'll need to pay a little extra for an included receiver, which may deter some people. Number 4. Vizio SV46514F6 Soundbar systems have progressed in leaps and bounds over the years, challenging traditional multi-speaker systems in the home theater world. Vizio have been leading the charge, and in our opinion, they produced one of the finest Dolby Atmos systems we've ever heard. The SB46514F6 includes two surround speakers and a subwoofer along with the bar, and is one of the few sub-$1,000 setups to offer full Dolby Atmos audio, which includes height audio alongside that coming from the front, sides, and rear. It's a 5.1.4 setup, 5 surround speakers, 1 subwoofer, and 4 height speakers, but the height speakers are embedded in the surround speakers themselves, which is clever as hell. One of the issues we did have with the SB46514F6 was the setup. It wasn't nearly as smooth or effective as we would have liked, the Vizio SmartCast app is good, but we frequently ran into trouble with connectivity. That's not an issue that the Sonos system house, 
and of number 3, Sonos 5.1 surround set. There is, quite simply, nobody doing wireless home theater better than Sonos. It's actually quite remarkable how good their 5.1 surround set is. This powerhouse wireless system, which consists of twin surround speakers, a subwoofer, and a new arc soundbar, is super simple to set up and use, and the only wires you'll see here are those connecting the components to wall plugs. One of the biggest complaints we had about the old Sonos systems was the lack of Dolby Atmos, but that's no longer a problem the Arc handles it just fine. Were it not for the huge price tag, we do need to take into account the price tag, and on that note, we have to say that we think it's too high. The 5.1 surround set is great and unquestionably one of the best wireless systems in the world. But in our opinion, it's not worth the near dash dollar two comma five hundred price. If you're looking for a more affordable wireless option, the Vizio number two, Yamaha YHT 4950U 4K Ultra. Let's be real. Many people just need a home theater system that will get them good surround sound, and they prefer not to pay the earth for it. If that's you, then we strongly recommend the Yamaha YHT 4950U. It's a sub $500 system that has sold by the truckload, and for very good reason. The compact speakers deliver crisp and impressive sound, and particularly excel with movie audio. We also think the additional features push the YHT4950 over the top. There's Bluetooth connectivity for music streaming, and Yamaha's YPAO room calibration to help you get the best quality sound no matter what size or shape your living room is. What do you lose out on? At high volumes, the YHT 4950U tended to distort a little. If you're the kind of person who likes blasting sound at top volume, you may want to look elsewhere. The Onkyo HT S58 Number 1 SVS Prime Satellite 5.1 SVS Get It? They understand what most people are looking for in the world of home theater, compact, good-looking speakers that are easy to use and offer excellent surround sound. The Prime Satellite 5.1 home theater system is one of their best sellers, and for very good reason. It offers five of the company's brilliant Prime Satellite speakers, which you can use to provide sound from either the side or the rear, and also includes the landmark SV1000 subwoofer to round out the bass. In our opinion, the system easily undercuts competitors like the Onkyo HT S5800, below, with its great sound and looks. However, as good as the sound quality is, it lacks power. It doesn't deliver quite as much volume as something like the Kep T305 system, below if you like your surround sound loud you may want to look at that as an upgrade over the SVS speakers. And although the individual speakers are solid, the system does not have a dedicated center speak. Check out the description for more information in latest price.